John Manuel for BaseballAmerica.com reviewing the Dodgers 2014 draft, and it starts off with one of the top high school pitchers on the board in Grant Holmes out of South Carolina. Grant Holmes' only knock really this uh, this spring has been the size. He's not projectable. Officially listed at six foot, I think he's probably closer to six one, maybe even six two. But this guy's got present stuff. He doesn't need to project too much. 91-94 with the fastball most of the spring, plus breaking ball. The changeups really come along. He's flashed some 97s and 98s in the past. I think there are a lot of similarities here to Chad Billingsley. This is a guy who could move quickly. I've also heard some comparisons to Ben Sheets on Grant Holmes. So good fit for the Dodgers at 22, an organization not afraid to draft the prep arm in the first round. They also aren't afraid to draft the prep arm in the second round, but they decided to take Alex Verdugo out of Arizona and announced him as a hitter. And Logan White, the assistant general manager with the Dodgers, says they could always put Verdugo back on the mound if it doesn't work out at the plate. They're convicted in the bat. They see a right field profile from Verdugo, who's athletic, obviously a plus arm, hit good velocity last summer on the showcase circuit. And this is a guy who just scouts were a little bit mixed on in Arizona, did not have a great spring yeah, as a high school senior, I think it was because he wants to hit and teams wanted him on the mound. Dodgers also took some other intriguing picks. Three college arms to look out for. Third rounder John Ritchie out of UNLV, Jeff Brigham in the fourth out of UW, and A.J. Venegas, the Stanford closer, in the 11th round who's got top-of-the-draft stuff but some real medical concerns with the back injuries in the past.